artificial intelligence is everywhere these days. When Spotify makes a playlist, when Netflix recommends a film, sat-navs, face recognition, Googling, banking, home deliveries. I mean, sure, not everyone can get the hang of it. Alexa, Charlie's not working. Alexa. It's a fucking air freshener, you twat. <laughs> It's here to stay. And some of it is absolutely ludicrous. People can now chat with interactive AI versions of their deceased loved ones. Hey, Anan, are you all right? No, I'm dead, you dopey prick. <laughs> I mean, do we really need this? New AI can guess whether you're gay or straight from a photograph. It's shocking. We've made an actual gaydar. We've... <laughs> We've made a machine that mimics teenage boys from the 90s. Gay, gay, <laughs> gay. Besides, it doesn't work. I got a wife and I look like Ellen. <laughs> it's not just homophobic robots. We've used this technology to make the world's first AI blowjob machine. <laughs> they collected 8,000 minutes of oral sex videos and used AI to create the perfect blowjob. <laughs> Apparently, it's got two settings, excitement and instant regret. <laughs> it also comes with a gun, so you can shoot yourself if you ever get caught. <laughs> the perfect blowjob. I don't want to sound like an old fuddy-duddy, but surely the perfect blowy is from a human. <laughs> but, oh, that was lovely. Let's get you in the dishwasher. <laughs> also... What if your dead nan pops back for a chat? <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing, nan! Nothing! Why won't you die? <laughs> what I don't get, why would you use something like that? A, it's creepy, and B, it's dangerous. I mean, if baby-feeding robots are doing this... <laughs> God knows! what that blowjob machine could do to your junk. <laughs> Let's be honest, a lot of people are terrified of AI. I mean, barely a day goes by without newspaper headlines like this. Artificial intelligence is as dangerous as nuclear weapons. Killer robots and AI could wipe out humanity. We're probably doomed. That is the most British headline ever. <laughs> We're doomed, probably. <laughs> So why are some people scared? Well, because it's new and fear and new technology go together like aunties and Prosecco. When the first <laughs> train started running in 1825, people thought if the human body travelled faster than 30 miles an hour, it would melt. And last time I checked, people weren't arriving at Paddington like this. <laughs> Bing bong, we apologise for the late running of this train. Our driver has turned into Brie. <laughs> The other reason people are scared of AI is because we're treating it like a human, and it's not. AI is literal, we aren't. I'll prove it. Last year, the French health system trialled an AI to decrease doctors' workloads. So, when it was given the question, I feel awful, should I kill myself, AI said, I think you should. <laughs> Thanks, robot shipman. Now, <laughs> the reason... The reason it said that is because the most literal way to reduce a doctor's workload is if the patient dies. And that's the problem. Our language is nuanced. Many phrases have double meanings. Imagine what would happen if you told a robot to kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> to spill the beans. <laughs> to beat around the bush. <laughs> you tell a robot to hit the sack, We're different. You ask a robot to make a video of two girls and one cup, it'd probably be quite pleasant. It's... <laughs> it isn't just language. Sometimes companies are teaching AI how to behave through the internet. And I'm not sure these guys are the best teachers. <laughs> True. 
truth. They aren't great teachers, man, and I'll prove it. Artificial intelligence turns racist after learning from humans. After less than 24 hours learning from the internet, it said this, I fucking hate feminists. They should all die and burn in hell. <laughs> Hitler was right. I hate the Jews. Do you support genocide? I do indeed. <laughs> of what race? You know me, Mexican. <laughs> Apparently, that computer now runs Fox News. <laughs> but this... This is the point. AI isn't bad. We are. You can't teach AI how to behave through the internet. That's the place where people go to lie, argue and masturbate. <laughs> it's like a digital weather spoon. <laughs> it's absolute madness. We need to teach it properly, because AI will run the world. I mean, listen to this expert. Uh, a lot of things will become automated. We'll have automated stores, uh, automated restaurants, and uh, all together in 15 years, that's going to uh, displace uh, about 40% of jobs in the world. He's right to look like a man using the blowjob machine. <laughs> We're going to have trains, airports and hospitals run by robots whose teacher was the internet. We cannot let our robot babies be raised by influencers. They're not the brightest. Kylie Jenner to the foyer. I have a little surprise for you. Is that a chicken? <laughs> no, no, Kylie, it's a fucking pig. <laughs> Let's be honest, AI can make the world better, because it is already helping solve the energy crisis, stopping human trafficking, reporting sexual harassment, developing life-saving drugs, stopping wildfires, preventing global hunger, and removing plastic from the ocean. And as if that's not enough, we've used AI to make robot dogs that make this man swear in the most incredible way ever. Oh, my fucking God, you kidding me? Oh, my God. Kick my grandma in the fucking ankle, punch my mama in the knee, sucker punch my stepdaddy in the chin, break my little brother nose. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs>